Mo Chinese Zoology. Mo Mo was the standard Chinese name for the giant panda from the 3rd century BC to the 19th century CE, but in 1824, the French sinologist Jean Pierre Abel Remusat mistakenly identified the Mo as the recently discovered black and white Malayan tapir Tapirus indicus, which never inhabited China in historical times. He based this misidentification on Chinese woodblock illustrations that depicted a mythological Momo chimera with elephant trunk, rhinoceros eyes, cow tail, and tiger paws also known as the Japanese Bakumu, which the famous Tang poet by Slash Bo Jui first described in the 9th century. The consequences of Abel Remusat's error were extensive. His presumption that Mo meant Chinese tapir was immediately adopted in Western zoology, and by the end of the 19th century, it was accepted as modern scientific fact in China and Japan. In the 20th century, since Mo had lost its original meaning, the giant panda was given a new Chinese name Dokshin Mao Dokshin Mao Lit. Zoology the giant panda or panda bear Aelorapoda melanoleucla is a large, black and white bear native to mountainous forests in south-central China. Its habitat is mainly in Sichuan, but also in neighboring Shaanxi and Gansu. The panda's coat is mainly white with black fur on its ears, eye patches, muzzle, shoulders, and legs. Despite its taxonomic classification as a carnivoran, the giant panda's diet is primarily herbivorous, consisting almost exclusively of bamboo. The Malayan tapir or Asian tapir tapirus indicus is a black and white odd-toed ungulate somewhat pig-like in appearance and with a long flexible proboscis. Its habitat includes southern Myanmar, southern Vietnam, southwestern Thailand, the Malay Peninsula, and Sumatra. The animal's coat has a light-colored patch that extends from its shoulders to its buttocks and the rest of its hair is black except for the white-rimmed tips of its ears. The Malayan tapir is exclusively herbivorous and eats the shoots and leaves of many plant species. Zooarchaeology reveals that fossil bones of Aelorapoda and tapirus occurred in Pleistocene animal remains in southern China region Harper 2013, 191. The giant panda and tapir continued to occupy the lowlands and river valleys of southern China until the Pleistocene and Holocene boundary, around 10,000 years before present Harper 2013, 193. Paleolithic humans in China likely had opportunities to encounter pandas and tapirs, but about 3,500 years before present, the tapir no longer inhabited China, Chang 1999-43. Shang Dynasty animal remains excavated at Enyang, Henan included tapirus but not Aelorapoda. Two tapir mandibular fragments are the only instance of Pleistocene or Holocene tapirs found so far north. The paleontologists Tailherd de Chardon and Yang Zhongjin believed the tapir bones were evidence of a Shang import from the south, and they are the last zoological evidence of human tapir contact in China occurring in a zoogeographic region never inhabited by the tapir Harper 2013, 193. The circa 13th to 11th centuries B.C. Shang oracle bones, which constitute the earliest known corpus of ancient Chinese writing, include some oracle bone script tentatively identified as Mo asterisk M, Akmo or Mu graphs. According to Harper, these Shang oracle and Zhu bronze inscriptions were more likely a name for a clan or place than a wild animal. Harper 2013, 194 minus 195. Western zoologists first learned of both the Malayan tapir and giant panda in the 19th century. In January 1816, Major William Farquhar, the resident of Malacca, sent the first account of the Malayan tapir to the Royal Asiatic Society of Great Britain and Ireland with drawings of the animal and its skeleton. However, he did not assign a binomial name for the tapir of Malacca, and Anselmi Geaton Dismarist coined Tapirus Indicus in 1819 Lidecker, 1931. In December 1816, G. J. Siddons discovered a young tapir in British Benkulin, Sumatra that he shipped to the Asiatic Society in Calcutta Maxwell et al. 1909, 100-102. The French naturalist Pierre Medard died, 
who studied under George's Covier, read Farquhar's account, examined Siddons's tapir in the governor's menagerie at Barrapur, and sent a description to Anselme Guitin de Marist in Paris, who published an account of the tapir in 1819, set in 1820, 422 minutes, 424. In 1869, the French Lazarist priest Armand David, 1826 minutes, 1900, acquired a specimen that hunters in Sichuan captured alive, which was killed and shipped to Paris for study. He coined the giant panda's original binomial name Ursus Melanolucus from Latin black and white bear, and the corresponding French name Hours Blanquette, more David, 1869-5. The first Westerner known to have seen a living giant panda is the German zoologist Hugo Weigold, who purchased a cub in 1916. Kermit and Theodore Roosevelt, Jr., became the first foreigners to shoot a panda on a 1929 expedition funded by the Field Museum of Natural History. In 1936, Ruth Harkness became the first Westerner to bring back a live giant panda, which went to live at the Brookfield Zoo Harper 2013, 186, 214. Terminology Chinese has numerous names for the giant panda ranging from Old Chinese asterisk M, Akmo or Mu to Modern Standard Chinese Dakshin Mao Dakshin Mao. Note that Old and Middle Chinese reconstructions are from William H. Baxter and Lawrence Sager, 2014. Mo. The standard giant panda name Mo Mo is written with several graphic variant characters. Mo Middle Chinese Mac Old Chinese asterisk M, Akmo or Mu, giant panda are phonosemantic compound characters that combine the phonetic component Mo Mac asterisk M, Akmo, no, nothing, not with the semantic indicators predatory beast Jai or dog fan, Mo Meek asterisk M, Akmo or he was an ancient ethnonym for non-Chinese people, Korean Meek Mo people, which was sometimes used as a homophonous phonetic loan character, to write Mo Mac asterisk M, Akmo, Panda. The graphs combine the predatory beast semantic indicator with by peak asterisk p rack by hundred and g cat asterisk k at g. Each phonetic components he is usually pronounced he zeke asterisk qh rack meaning raccoon dog. Chinese characters for non Chinese barbarian peoples frequently used these beast and dog semantic indicators as ethnic slurs. See graphic pejoratives in written Chinese. These panda name variants Momo, Southwestern Animal and Momo, Northeastern Region were easily distinguished from context. The notion of whiteness is a common factor among names for the black and white giant panda. Mo asterisk M, Akmo, panda has a variant Mo or Bomo, with a by beak asterisk B rack by white phonetic component. The earliest dictionary definition of Momo, panda is Babel asterisk B rack, Rubai Bao, White Leopard, see the area below. Chinese auspicious creatures were frequently white, such as the Beihu Baihu, White Tiger, and Bays Bai Zi below Harper 2013, 218. Paleography confirms that early graphs for Mo asterisk M, Akmo or Mu occur in bronze script on Chinese bronze inscriptions from the Shang Dynasty C. 161046 BC and Zhu Dynasty C 1046 256 BC and in seal script standardized during the Qin Dynasty 221 the ancient bronze and seal scripts combine an animal pictograph semantic indicator with an asterisk m act phonetic component written with double cow or cow grass and rice sun elements but the bottom grass was changed to da big in the modern phonetic mo mo. The old Chinese etymology of mo asterisk m, ak mo he mo, mo words connected with mu asterisk m at k mu, pasture, herd, herding, animals, Schusler 2007, 390, 393. In 5th and 4th century BC, southern Chu manuscripts excavated in Hubei, mo asterisk m, ACMO was used to write Animal Pelt Chen 2004, 251. Other Panda Names The giant panda has some additional Chinese names. Ancient myths that pandas can eat iron and copper led to the Appalachian Shikshu, 
Shi Tai Shu, Iron Eating Beast. The Chinese variety spoken in the main panda habitat of Sichuan has names of Huaxing Huaxing, Flowery Bear and Baixing Baixing, White Bear, reiterating whiteness mentioned above, which is now the usual Chinese name for the Polar Bear Harper 2013, 191. The modern standard Chinese name Daxing Mao Daxing Mao, Lit, Big Bear Cat, Giant Panda, which was coined from the taxonomic genus Aelropoda from New Latin Aelero cat. The related name Ziauxing Mao Ziauxing Mao Small Bear Cat refers to the lesser, or red panda Aelorus fulgens, native to the eastern Himalayas and southwestern China. Associated names Besides the above panda specific terms, there are several related animal names. In early Chinese zoological terminology, the Mo asterisk M, Akmo, giant panda was considered a kind of Bao asterisk P, Ru Bao, leopard. The area below defines Mo as Bei Bao asterisk B, Rak, Ru Bai Bao, white leopard. Pi asterisk Vij Pi or Pixiu asterisk Bei Ku Pai Zhu was a mythical fierce gray and white tiger or bear like animal that scholars have associated with the giant panda. The area defines Pi as Bei Hu asterisk B, Rakwa, a Bai Hu white fox, and its young is called Hu asterisk G A Bo. Guo Pu's commentary gives an alternate name of G asterisk Thipple at J Zhai Yi, and groups Pi with tigers and leopards, Hu Bao Zhai Shu. The Shu own GZ entry links Pi with the northeastern region, Mo Mo or He, also used for panda, belongs to the group Leopard Bao Shu, comes from the country Mo He. The Shai Jing says, offer as a gift that Pi pelt Zai and Kai Pai Pai, and the Zhao Shu says, like tiger like Pai Ru Hu Ru Pai. Pai is a ferocious beast Meng Shu. Three Shu Ong Jizi entries after this one, the Mo Mo, Panda is said to have come from Shu in the southwest. Thus, in pre-Han and Han texts, the words Mo and Pai did not denote the same animal, and Pai cannot be the giant Panda Harper 2013. 219. Fuan Mo asterisk Mu Dark Mo was a regional product that the northeastern Yi people of Lingzhai present day Hebei submitted to the Zhu court, according to the pre Han Yi Zhu Shu. The 3rd century commentator Kong Keo Kong Keo referred to the area definition of Mo as Beibao White Leopard or Beihu Baihu, White Fox, in a variant text reading, and defined Chuan Mo as Heibao Heibao. Black leopard or Heihu Heihu, black fox. However, since Chuanmo came from northeast of China, it is unlikely that the refrain was the giant panda from the southwest harbor 2013, 217. Ching asterisk C, Elori NG Cheng. A mount rule, journey is an obscure animal name that could be related to the Mo. The Zhuangzi and Lizi have the phrase Kingning generates Cheng. Qing generates horse, horse generates humankind, King Zhu Sheng Cheng Cheng Sheng Ma Ma Sheng Ren in a passage on cyclical processes. A medieval quotation from the lost book, Shizi said Cheng Cheng was equivalent with the standard Chinese name Bao Bao, leopard, and the Yu Southeast Coastal Region regional name Mo Mo. The commentator Shen Gua 1031 minus 1095 said the ancient meaning might be the same as the contemporary usage in Yanzhou in present-day Shaanxi, where Cheng was the local word for Chong Chong, meaning tiger, leopard. Harper concludes that even if we assume the Shizi quotation is authentic. Jiatu, asterisk kr iwel, as jiotu, cunning hare is an iron-eating animal related to the mole. It is recorded in the Shi Jai Shi Jai, Record of Gleanings, compiled by the deist Wang Jia D. 390 CE from Apocryphal Histories. The cunning hare found on Kunwu Mountain is shaped like rabbit, the male is yellow and the female white, and it eats cinnabar, copper, and iron. Anciently, when all the weapons in the King of Wu's armory went missing, they dug into the ground and discovered two hares, one white and one yellow, and their stomachs were full of iron, which when cast into weapons, Mo Giant Panda Chinese texts have described the Mo Giant Panda for over two millennia. Ria, uh, 
the circa fourth or third century BCE lexicon section Shu Shu Beasts defines Mo Mo, giant panda, as a Baibao by Bao, white leopard. The snow leopard panther on Sai is an alternate identification of this white leopard. Read 1931, no, 352. The Uriah commentary by Guopu 276-324 says the Mo resembles a bear with a small head, short legs, mixed black and white, able to lick and consume iron, copper, and bamboo joints. Its bones are strong and solid within, having little marrow, and its pelt can repel dampness. Some say that a white-colored leopard has the separate name Mo, TR, adapted from Harper 2013, 185, 205 Sikshing Tu Bei Jai O Hei Bai Bo Neng Shi Shi Tong Tai Jai Zhu Gu Gu Jai Kiang Jai Zhang Shi Shao Sui Pai Pai Shi Huo Yu Bao Wai Si Ji Bai Ming Mo. The next two Ye definitions of animal names are parallel with Mo. Han asterisk G M Han is a Bei Hu asterisk B Rak Ra Bai Hu White Tiger Shu asterisk C at Luke Shu is a Hei Hu asterisk M at KQH Ra Hei Hu Black Tiger. Buo's commentary says the names referred to white colored and black colored tigers, not zoologically different animals. Unlike the Mo giant panda's familiar cultural identity and history, neither Han nor Shu occurs in any early texts besides the Area Harper 2013, 216. Shanghai Jing? The C. 3rd or 2nd century BC Shanghai Jing classic of mountains and seas mythogeography does not directly mention Mo Mo, but says one mountain has panda like Mingbao Mingbao, ferocious leopards, and Guopu's 4th century sea commentary to another mountain says it was the habitat of Mo pandas. The description of Nanshan Nanshan, South Mountain says, on its summit are quantities of granular cinnabar dan su. The river Cinnabar rises here and flows north to empty into the river rapids. Among the animals on this mountain are numerous wild leopards, Mengbao. Its birds are mostly Kakus Shijiu Tr. Burrell 2015. Guopu says, the ferocious leopard resembles the bear but is smaller. Its fur is thin and brightly glossy. It can eat snakes and eat copper and iron. It comes from Shu. Alternatively, the graph Bao Bao is written Hu Hu Tiger. Meng Bao Si Qing or Zio Mao Kai and Yu Guang Zi Ning, Shi 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 Tong Tai Chu, Shu Zhu. The sub commentary of how Yixing Hao Yixing identifies Meng Bao asterisk M, R at NG P Ru Meng Bao, ferocious leopard or Meng Hu asterisk M, R at NG Q H Ra Meng Hu, ferocious tiger, as the similarly pronounced Mo Bao asterisk M, Ak. The Shanghai Jing description of Laishan Lai Shan. Lai Mountain says on the mountain's south face are quantities of yellow gold, and on its north face are numerous elk and great deer Maizhu. Its trees are mostly sandalwood and dye mulberry tangy. Its plants are mostly shallot and garlic zaiju, and many iris yao. There are slout. Yuo identifies Lai Mountain with Qiang Lai Mountain in ancient Shu, present day Sichuan. Notes it was the habitat of the Mo, and says Mo resembles a bear or a black and white bow, and also eats copper and iron seeking, or hay by Bo Yishi Tong Tai Yi Tr. Adapted from Harper 2013, 185. Bo Bo, contradict names a mythical beast like a sawtoothed piebald horse that eats tigers and leopards. Despite the similarities between how Guo Puzuria commentary above describes the Mo Mo, Panda, and his descriptions of the Mo, Panda on Lai Mountain and Mengbao Mengbao, ferocious leopard on South Mountain, he plainly does not identify the thin-furred Mengbao or Menghu as the black and white panda, but rather as another metal-eating animal from Shu that resembled Shuong Jizi, Zhu Xin's C. His C. 121 Shuong Jizi Chinese, character dictionary definition of Mo Mo says, resembles the bear, yellow and black in color, comes from Shu the region of present-day Sichuan. Duan Yukai's 1815 commentary to the Shuo and Jizi identifies Mo as the iron-eating beast Tai Zhai Shu, or Shanhai Jing's ferocious leopard Mingbao.
He says the animals still inhabited the eastern part of Sichuan and were a nuisance to locals who gathered firewood in the mountains and who needed to take iron to feed the metal-hungry pandas. Dishonest people sell panda teeth as fake Buddhist sari or relics. Harper 2013, 185. The cultural motif of metal-eating animals was neither unique to the panda nor to China, and by the 3rd or 4th century this folklore occurred from the Mediterranean to China, and often in connection with the forge and metalworking Harper 2013, 223. The evidence of the Uriya and Shuon Jizi indicates that pre-Han and Han readers knew the giant panda by the name Mo, which they understood to be both bear-like and belong to the leopard category Harper 2013, 221. Early Poetry Poetry, e poetry Beginning with the Han Dynasty The giant panda was a popular trope in classical Chinese poetry. Mo first appeared in Sima Zhiangru's C. 138 B.C. Shanglin, Fu Shanglin Fu, Rhapsody on Shanglin Park. Emperor Wu of Han's Shanglin Supreme Grove Hunting Park west of the capital Chang'an that contained wildlife from all of China organized by habitat. The Twelve Beasts of the South, where in deepest winter there are germination and growth, bubbling waters and surging waves, included the Mo Giant Panda T.R. Tapir by Netjiz 1982 to 89. Cebu, Yak, Sambar, Elephant, and Rhinoceros. Archaeological excavations confirmed the giant panda as object of spectacle in the same century. The tomb menagerie of impressed dowager Bodhi 155 BC included a giant panda, rhinoceros, horse, sheep, and dog, implying that in addition to animal performances and hunting, we may imagine the elite observing the giant panda and other wildlife at close range in enclosures Harper 2013, 221. The giant panda next appeared in Yangsheng's 53 B.C. Eminus 18 C. Rhapsody on the Shu capital present-day Chenggu that lists Mo among the wildlife of Min Mountain north of the city. Both Sima Zhiangru and Yangsheng were natives of Shu and likely knew the giant panda from personal experience Harper 2013, 222. 0 CC 250 C. 305 mentioned the Moen hunting passages from his rhapsodies on the southern capitals of Shu and Wu. In the Wu capital Wuxi in Jiangsu, the hunters trampled jackals and tapirs TR Nechjiz 1982 1. 413 or kicked dole and giant panda TR Harper 2013 222 Ku Chai Mu and in the Shu capital hunt. They impale the iron-eating beast Jai Shitai Jai Shu and shoot the poison swallow. The commentary by Liu Qi Liu Qi FLC 295 says Mo pandas were found in Jianing Jianshu, present-day Qingjing County Yunnan, and glosses iron-eating beast by repeating the common belief that the giant panda could rapidly consume large amounts of iron simply by licking with its tongue. Shenyi Jing an animal named Nyati Nai Tai Iron Chuor is mentioned in the Shen Yi Jing Shen Yi Jing Classic on Divine Marvels, a collection of regional information on marvelous creatures, which is traditionally attributed to Dongfeng Shuo C. 160 BCE C. 93 BCE, but more likely dates from the 2nd century C. In the south quarter there is a beast with horns and hoofs whose size is like the water buffalo. Its coat is black like lacquer. It eats iron and drinks water. Its feces can be used to make weapons whose sharpness is like steel. Its name is Iron Chewer. Nan Fan Yu Shu Mao He Ru Kai Shi Tai Yin Shu Yi Ming Dai Tai T R Harper 2013 223 A 10th century quotation not found in the transmitted Bayapusi text referred to the Shen Jing Iron Chewer. Master Dong Feng recognized the iron swallowing beast Dong Feng Sheng Chi Dan Tai Jai Shu. Although the origins of the Chinese metal eating motif are uncertain, it remained an identifying characteristic of Mo through the 19th century when Du and Yukai noted it. Harper proposes that the Nyati Iron Chuer embodied this motif. And although the Mo Panda was already associated with whiteness and metal, the marvelous iron chewer added to its cultural identity 2013, 224.
Benkao Gangmu. Lai Shijin's 1596 Benkao Gangmu Compendium of Materia Medica section on animal drugs enters Momo between leopard and elephant entries. The skins are used as rugs and mattresses. It is a good absorbent of body vapors. It is like a bear, head small, feet short, with a black and white striped skin. The hair is short and glossy. It enjoys eating copper and iron things, bamboo, bones, and venomous snakes. Local people lose their axes and cooking utensils. The urine can dissolve iron. Its joints are very straight and strong. The bones are solid without marrow. In the Tang Dynasty, it was a favorite motif for screens. It occurs in Omai MTS. Sechuan and Yunin. It has a nose like an elephant, eyes like a rhinoceros, tail like a cow, and feet like a tiger. The teeth and bones are so hard that the blades of axes are broken by them. Firing does not affect the bones. It is said that antelope horn can break a diamond. T.R. Reed, 1931. No, 353. Translating Malayan tapir. Lai Shijin lists three associated animals, Nyati Naitai, a southern species. The size of water buffalo, black and shiny, the feces are as hard as iron. One animal was recorded seven feet high, which could travel 300 li a day. And Han, a monstrous, terrific beast producing one horn, Giles Dictionary, the tapir. Some accounts ally it with the Mongolian mastiff Hugu Hugu. It is like a black fox, seven feet long. In its old age, it has scales. It can eat tigers, leopards, crocodiles, and metals. Hunters are afraid of it. Jayatu Jayo too, in the Kayanwu Mountains, there is a rabbit-like animal, which is iron-eating. The male is yellow and the female white tr. Read 1931, no, 353 a c. Lai also gives three medicinal uses for the mo pai pai, skin, slept on it will remove heat boils, and it keeps off damp and bad infections. Gao Gao, fat for carbuncles. It is well absorbed. Shishi feces taken to dissolve copper or iron objects which have been accidentally swallowed. T.R. Reed, 1931, Nome 353. Mo mythical chimera. From the Han through the Tang Dynasty 618 907, the giant panda named Mo consistently referred to an exotic black and white bear like animal found in southern China with a pelt that repelled dampness and legends about its solid bones. Giant panda pelts were luxury items and Emperor Taizong of Tang R. 626 minus 649 presented Mo pelts as banquet gifts to a select group of officials, Harper 2013, 205. Then, in the 9th century, the renowned Tang poet and government official by Slash Bo Jui 772-846 popularized the name Mo, denoting a fantastic mythological chimera with elephant trunk rhinoceros eyes care, drawings of which were supposedly able to repel contagion and evil. Chinese mythology has a long charnel tradition of composite or hybrid beasts with parts from different animals. Low 1978, Strasbourg. 2002, 43 minutes 45. Some examples are the Dinglong, Huey Fenghuang, and Killen. In comparative mythology, many cultures have four animal part hybrids combining four kinds of animal parts, comparable to the Chinese quadripartite Mo. Bai Jui wrote about suffering from headaches to Feng to Feng, lit, hid wind that according to traditional medical theory were caused by the Feng Feng, Wind Wind Ailments, CF, Western Miasma Theory, and he used a folding screen known as a Ping Feng Ping Feng, wind screen slash wall to prevent drafts. The poet commissioned an artist to paint a fabulous Mo on his wind screen, which Bai enjoyed so much that he composed his famed Mo Ping Zan Mo Ping Zan, Mo folding screen pin in 823. The preface explains the Mo has elephant trunk, rhinoceros eyes, cow tail, and tiger paws moji zing by zimu new wei hu zu. It inhabits the mountains and valleys of the south. To sleep on its pelt repels contagion kin kai pai pai wen. 
to draw its form repels evil to kaizing paizai in the past i suffered from wind ailment of the head being too feng and whenever i slept i always protected my head with a small screen by chance i met a painter and had him draw the mo i note that in the shanghai jing this beast eats iron and copper and eats nothing else this stirred me and now i have composed a pian for it t r harper twenty thirteen two hundred four minus two hundred five I used two Chinese medicinal terms for what a mo image specifically repelled when when epidemic infection and zai zai evil unhealthy influences that cause disease earlier Chinese sources about mo did not mention drawing one in order to repel evil through apotropaic magic and artists were free to shape the hybrid beast without reference to the giant panda harper 2013 205 the Japanese Bakumu changed the Chinese myth about the Mo image preventing illness to dream devouring in order to prevent nightmares. Guys eat iron and copper, and eats nothing else reference comes from Guo Pu's 4th century commentary to the Shanghai Jing and not the pre Han classic text. The Shanghai Jing proper mentions the Mengbao ferocious leopard on South Mountain, which Guo notes as a metal eating beast similar to the Mo, and mentions Lime Mountain which he glosses as a mole habitat. By Jui's reading of the Shanghai Jing with Guo's commentary, conflated the ferocious leopard and mo panda as same metal-eating animal Harper 2013, 220. Zhu and Chengxi's 863 Yaoyang Zazu assorted morsels from Yaoyang is a miscellany of legends and stories, including the giant panda under the name Mo's Mozi lit Panda Marsh. The Mo's Mozi is as large as the dog. Its fat has the quality of dispersing and smoothing. When placed in the hands or when stored in copper, iron, or pottery vessels, it entirely permeates them. When contained in bone, it does not leak. T.R. Harper 2013, 205 minutes 206. This Yaoyang Zazu context is the only extant early record of the word Mo's Middle Chinese Meek Greek, which Harper explains as a tang pun with the marvelous Bay's Beak Creek by Z, White Marsh Creature. Its omniscience of the world's supernatural creatures was supposedly written down as the Lost Bay's 2 by Z2, White Marsh diagrams, which were popular iconographic drawings used to protect the home from harm. Harper suggests an origin for the Mo's elephant trunk. In the 8th and 9th centuries, the Indian elephant-headed deity Gainchu was the Buddhist counterpart to the popular Chinese spirit protector Bayes 2013, 206 minutes 207. In the centuries after the Tang, Chinese people's ideas and impressions of the Mo were mostly obtained from old textual accounts and illustrations in woodblock printed books, not from nature. The woodblock illustrations are variations on Bojuius elephant trunk rhinoceros ice cow tail tiger paws components Mo regularly with the elephant trunk, but not consistently. Details were sometimes selectively combined, as when bear-like features were mixed with elephant trunk Harper 2013, 208. For instance, the Pia Dictionary compiled by Lu Dai and Lu Dai in 1042 minus 1102 described the moaz resembling the bear with elephant trunk, rhinoceros eyes, lion head, dull fur. Its feces can be made into armaments that will cut jade, its urine can dissolve iron into water. Mo Sixing, Shishu Chai Pai Rui Kai. The oldest Mo illustration dates from the Song Dynasty 960 1279 or Yuan Dynasty 1271 1368. It is found in the Uriayan Tour, Yian Tu, Riao pronunciations and illustrations. The extant 1801 facsimile woodlock edition of the Yuan facsimile manuscript copy of an illustrated Song edition of the Uriya. The head with ears and trunk appears more like an elephant than the later Chinese and Japanese illustrations in which Abel Remuset recognized the tapir. The main difference is the coat, which is depicted with white midsection, and is the one detail that connected the quadripartite moat to the giant panda in nature, whose coat has black shoulders and legs with white in the middle. The Uriangan II illustration is the only early example of this black and white moat depiction Harper 2013, 209. Mo Malayan Tapir, 